What is up guys, Petrify here, and I always get questions asking me what's the best assault rifle to use in Phantom Forces, so I kind of feel like if I do a top 5 best assault rifles, it might help you choose between the assault rifles to try to use. Now, I am going to try to mix low rank weapons, like decently low rank weapons, and also high tier weapons as well. So as you guys would probably think, I am going to definitely put the Scar L for a lower rank weapon. I'm also going to give you guys attachments for it that I personally use a lot. And also, I'm going to play a little bit with it to kind of show you why I use it and talk about it a little bit. So my class setup for this, for Optic, I use the Coyote Sight. Now, this is all personal for reference. Coyote Sight doesn't matter. This is all what you choose. You can even put a 6 time scope on the gun if you guys really like it. Optics are always your choice. For Barrel, Compensator is easily the best uh, attachment in the game. And you could put a suppressor on to kind of get you off the minimap a little bit, but the suppressors in this game work very weird, and it's not worth using overall. It takes away your damage as well. So you do want your damage on this gun because it's not the strongest thing in the world, but it's pretty strong. It's a very good weapon. Uh, vertical Grip. I have a theory that grips don't really do what they do, and I was kind of confirmed by one of the gun builders, Shaylin007, uh, that the grips definitely don't go by stats, so... It's more of what you use and you try out and whatever works for you. Vertical grip on the scar always works for me, so I definitely recommend using that. And then for other, we have a green laser. That's my whole setup for that. So I'm going to run around with this a little bit, show you guys uh, how I play with it, etc., etc. And you guys probably will see why I use the gun a lot. We're also playing a... Ow! I just got ear raped. I was playing Island Royale, so that was... Yeah, you got to turn up your sound in that game. Hopefully I can kind of show you guys why this gun's used a lot in Phantom Forces because it's a very low rank weapon and the recoil pattern is actually pretty good on it as well. Uh, it just has slight kick but you just point and shoot with it. It's basically it's basically like the MP5K for per se. It has little to no recoil, just slight kick on it like that. But uh, it kills pretty quickly. I'm not a fan of using it up close and that's kind of how I play is up close and personal. But uh, it works for me. I'm not saying this gun will work for everybody. It might not be your style. Just keep in mind, I have a top five list for you guys. So at least one of these guns will probably work for you. I guarantee one of these guns will definitely work out really well for you. Because I have multiple different play styles depending on the weapon that I use. Uh, so for the Scar, for example, I don't really like to rush with this, but I will. It's not the best thing for rushing. So it's more for like kind of playing a little bit conserv and conservative. Oh god, can't speak. Conservative uh, and sitting back a little bit more, but I'm just a rusher in general. But I do sit back sometimes. So the gun is definitely for sitting back a little bit more because its rate of fire isn't the greatest. But um, it's pretty powerful overall. Very good assault rifle. Uh, excuse me? Was, was that not a headshot? Hello? I was hitting you in the head. Oh, nice triple. Hello. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. He's laying on the ground. Where's everybody at? There we go. We got a double kill. No, oh, he ran downstairs. Why? Oh, he almost got me. Anyways, moving on to the second assault rifle is probably the AUG A1. This thing is overall super balanced. Well, not balanced. I feel like it should be definitely added more recoil, nerfed a little bit. But it's, it's a very powerful, no recoil kind of weapon. I use Coyote Sight on it as well. Or Reflex Sight. I kind of like Reflex better, so I'm going to put that on. It's not, it's not loading. It's not loading. Um... Nice, dude, nice. This is... All right. Well, again, optic is personal preference. Guess we're not going to put a reflex on. Use compensator. For this one, I use angle grip because I feel like this one kind of balances out really well. And then for other is laser, and I I'm going to put green laser on that. But for angled, it's, it's always angle grip for most of my guns. But vertical grip for like a scar, for anything that has vertical recoil, I put a vertical grip on. Uh, so... 
Just keep that in mind. The Auge One usually has side to side recoil, and the angle does kind of help with that in a way. There is other attachments that you can use to compensate for side to side recoil, but I feel like the angle just fit me perfectly, and it really made the gun feel very smooth overall. So that's why I run the angled on this one. There we go. Hello. Now, it's not the, the strongest gun for close quarters. It is really good for long range, though. Has a decent fire rate. It's not... I don't think it shoots faster than the Scar. I think the Scar is definitely more reliable. Um, definitely more reliable for close quarter combat. The Auge 1 is decent, but it's better for long range because of its no recoil. There we go. There's another one right there. Oh. I'm just trying to move a lot so this guy doesn't snipe me. Oh, he doesn't have a sniper. I thought he did. None of my shots hit him. I don't know what's going on with his hit registration, but it's terrible. As usual, but it's really bad today. I think it's the same person, too. Like, I will shoot at him, and nothing nothing will register. Oh, we got a couple swanning up back here. How did you not die, dude? You're so weak. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to use my secondary. Yeah, but everybody knows about the Auge 1. If you don't, you're, you you got to get to know it because this thing is insane, actually. It truly is a great gun, and I definitely do recommend it because it's only ranked 21, I believe, or 20, one or the other. Let me see. I actually just got really destroyed right there. I should have killed that guy, but whatever. Yeah, you unlock it at rank 20. So the Scar L is rank 16. Auge 1 is rank 20. So you have pretty low rank weapons. So that's the Auge 1. I'm going to move on to the next one. I'm sorry if this video is not as fast as you guys want it to be, but I kind of want to, you know, show off the guns as well. Uh, the next gun is actually going to be the M16A3, which is one of my favorites. Um, I'm not going to put the G36 in here because I wouldn't put that in the top 5. Maybe, maybe in top 10. But I personally don't enjoy the G36, but it's a very good gun. So that's... That's just an extra gun for you guys to try out. If you guys have it, try it out. It's really good. So the next gun is the M16A3. I have 5,000 kills with this gun, guys. It's catching up to my Honey Badger, actually. I'm 1,000 kills behind, pretty much. But this gun is actually really, really good. You guys see me use it a lot in the past. But my attachments is Reflex Sight, Angle Grip. Uh, I don't have a laser on, so I must have, like, something else. Yeah, I have hollow points on. That might have been for a setup. I'm not too sure. Anyways, uh, we have compensator, angle grip, and reflex, and then hollow points. I'm not going to leave hollow points on right now because I don't feel like changing them. So I do want to try it out, though. I don't remember ever using it, so we'll see how it goes. This aim feels different. Did they change how the A3 aims? What the? Maybe I just haven't used it in a while. It feels much slower. Hmm. Well, if they did change anything, it's definitely not in the patch notes. I hate when they change something and it's not in the patch notes. But I use this gun a lot. This feels very different. For how much time I use this gun, it, it should feel the same. Either way. Unless some somehow the hollow points change it. No, it feels so slow, dude. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. I swear it was much faster. I'll have to look back in videos or something. Because it feels different. For sure. Yeah, these hollow points are OP, though. It's definitely a lot stronger up close. So, if you guys want a more close quarters assault rifle, you can definitely put hollow points on it, and it'll kill probably faster than the submachine gun itself. So, keep that in mind. I actually forgot all about the ammo types. Wait, you're not dead? That guy's so weak. Thank you, teammate. Hmm... My aim with this is so bad. I haven't used this gun in a long time, by the way. It's been actual months. So maybe that's why it feels different. I'm not too sure. But overall, the M16A3 is a very good gun. Definitely recommend it. Uh, very, very nice. Yes. So that was top three. So we got the Scarl, Auge 1, M16A3. I do recommend the G36, but I'm not going to put that in the top five. It's not one of my favorites, to be honest. Uh, the FAMAZ is also really good. So if you guys have that. But the next gun that we're moving on to, of course 
is the honey badger i always have to put the honey badger in the top five it's overall my favorite gun and my most used gun i have 6255 kills with this thing dude uh not to not to count my other couple thousand kills with it on my other accounts so we have over 10,000 kills of the honey badger so yeah don't judge me this is another gun that i haven't used in months now a lot of people always ask me what my attachments are in the honey badger it's literally just green laser and and um angle grip that's all i put on it i don't like optics for some reason i must have hollow points on this too yeah i think i was testing it out a long time ago so when the hollow point update came out that's the last time i used this so it was a while back so keep that in mind so we got the i think i'm gonna put the regular laser on yeah we're gonna put the regular one and we're gonna use angle grip that's my class up that i usually use for this a lot of people always ask me that because i i, I mainly use honey badger you guys know that this has been probably my gun that i've used the most on my channel overall also in phantom forces overall actually i might have more kills with the sniper i might i'm not 100 percent on that but i might have more kills with one of the snipers it might be the intervention uh, the recoil is a lot easier to control for some reason i remember it being slightly harder okay that's definitely different i think it's just because i haven't used the guns in a long time that's all it is i don't think it's because they change anything on it a lot of people always complain about the oh wow well henry is op that's unfair there we go yeah but the thing is a lot of people always said that the recoil for the honey badger is bad i don't think it was the recoil the recoil has always been pretty easy for me in a way but yeah i can see how it could be challenging for some but it was never the recoil the issue for me for long range it was more the damage uh, you, I usually run out of ammo quickly with the honey badger because I use it from all ranges when this is more of a medium range weapon in my opinion uh, But it's still good for long range. You just got to hit your shots. Wow. Okay Talk about hitting shots. I should have hit mine there God darn it, dude What is going on What the Hello <laughs> <laughs> anyways i don't really have to show you guys much about the honey badger you guys should know about it it's definitely one of my most used weapons and my favorite of all time and all games actually not just fan of forces next assault rifle has probably became my favorite gun of all the m231 i'm kidding i'm kidding <laughs> the akm this gun is actually so good and i knew it was good for the longest time but i don't use it in videos for a reason is because i don't want everybody using it but I mean, I don't play the game every single day anymore, so I don't really see why it would be b that big of an issue. The AKM is hands down the best assault rifle uh, in this category for me. Now, I'm not saying these all might work for you, but the damage is pretty high for this gun. 40 to 32 damage. Like, come on now. That's, that's really powerful. Uh, my setup for this is a little bit different from my other ones. I use a Coyote Sight for my attachments. Again, this is all personal preference, whatever you like barrel compensator of usual stubby grip instead of angle with or vertical so that's a little bit different and then we have greed laser there we go let's go ahead and push out this way they might be spawning back here as well teammate just killed him i don't think they'll be spawning back here no way yeah i didn't think they would This guy's so weak, and he lagged. Jesus, teammate, you scared me. Let's go, dude. As you can see, why I like this assault rifle, it's so powerful. It's really, really powerful. Does a lot of damage. It's pretty reliable, too. You move pretty quickly with it. Like, look how fast I'm moving, dude. Holy... Got them both, boys. Oh, oh, ow. Ow, ow. Stop. I am actually being bullied right now. No, I just choked that so hard. Why did I push it? I don't know why I pushed it, dude. I just didn't care. Got 
him. He got some delayed shots on me. That's a little bit annoying. Anyways, as you can see, why I picked those type of weapons for my class setup. Uh, they're a little bit different from each other. The Scarlet and the Auge one, kind of, I see them as similar weapons in a way. Uh, the Auge one is a little bit better for longer ranges. The Scarlet is more of, it can be a long range weapon. Don't get me wrong. It takes a little bit too long to kill people in my opinion. But, uh, like, more of, like, medium to close quarters for the Scar L. You could do pretty good with that. For my play style anyways, how I play, it works out. M63 with hollow points is legit. It can be used from any ranges. I don't recommend. Now, here's the thing. I don't recommend putting hollow points on, though. It, it actually destroys the weapon. It, it takes away so much damage from long range. M68 3 is another one of those weapons that don't have too much recoil from range. So, I definitely do recommend, um, like, taking off hollow points and putting a green laser. That's just my opinion. And then we also had the Honey Badger. This is not a weapon for everybody. I'll tell you that right now. Um... And it does take a while to get used to. So if you're just trying to use it right now, it might not work uh, very first game for you. It might take a little bit. AKM is probably one of the easiest guns to use overall. It's very powerful. One of the best assault rifles in the game. Actually, the best assault rifle in the game, in my opinion. It's very powerful. Very OP. It, it, I love it. Anyways, I'm going to video right here. I hope I helped any of you guys out for low rank weapons and high tier weapons as well. And I hope I helped you find a new favorite assault rifle in the game because that was my goal of this video. If I did help you in any way and if you guys want to see more episodes like this, like top 5 best SMGs, top 5 best LMGs, etc, etc. Just smash the like button down below so I know you guys do want that in the future. But I'm going to go. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Peace out.